Hello again and welcome back to this 15th of 32 talks about composing music. Uh, at the end of the 14th you already have acquired enough information to be able to put your own folk songs and indeed to expand that style to any other type of composition you may like to, may like to use. But what we're now going to do is first of all concentrate on Franz Schubert we're going to try and write a song in the style of Schubert that would convince somebody that you've been rummaging through the libraries somewhere and you found this unknown manuscript of, a, of what you probably think is a Schubert song. And you're going to take it to the musicologists and ask them to check it for you to see if they'll believe it. Um, that, of course, in itself is a rather foolish exercise. But the object of this exercise is, first of all, to introduce you to Schubert's style, to understand what elements he was actually using when he was composing songs. And secondly, of course, it's an exercise in composition, because the more experience you have of putting pen to paper, putting melodies into harmonies, and playing around with blocks, extending them, expanding them, contracting them, all this work with this type of material is going to help you when you come to writing your own original songs. So, let's make a start. We've chosen, I've chosen two uh, songs of Schubert, one for the text and one for the music. This one is for the music, so we're going to have to look at it very closely. This is Wanderer's Nachtlied. The poem is by Goethe. Here's the analysis of this in I'm just making a skeleton now as I did with my folk song. The second phrase, the third phrase, the fourth. I've chosen a poem. This is also by Goethe, West Östliche Divan, it's taken from, and it's Über meines Liebchens Eugeln. Schubert also set this song, but some songs he set twice, often with quite contrasting elements. And so this, we'll just pretend that he, he uh, did a second setting of this poem. Über meines Liebchens Eugeln stehen verwundert alle Leute. Ich, der Wissende dagegen, weiß recht gut, was das bedeutet. And then there are two more verses in the same style, which I have to spread now this over these nine phrases somehow. So that's my next exercise. And I'll show you how I've done this. I've taken the first phrase für über meines Liebchens Eugen, and then stehen verwundert, I've somehow spread over the second and third phrases. And I'm slightly anxious here that I won't really have enough time for all this text. And as I have quite a nice cadence, 
at the end of the third phrase, well, I'll take the liberty of repeating that. That'll give me a little more time to spread out my text. Uh, you have to be very careful when you do this because not every phrase can be repeated, obviously. So then I put the Ich der Wissende dagegen over the fourth and fifth, Weiß recht gut, sixth and seventh, was das bedeutet, and then I can repeat them before eighth and ninth, which, as I said before, a repeat of six and seven. So this is now the, the spreading out of my text. I've got my skeleton, I've spread the text out so that it makes some sort of sense over this skeleton, and now I have to go hunting for snippets. These three songs are very well known. I'm just robbing them to take snippets. It's the hiding verse line, the favela. So from these three songs, I go around them with my scissors, as I did with the folk songs, and then I get with the first phrase of Haydn rules to the last line. So I just turn it on its head. Just little variations of these snippets, just to get to squeeze as much material out of them as I possibly can get, so that my list of snippets is as long as possible. Once I have that, I throw my snippets in some sort of order so that they make somehow rhythmic sense with the text, and they I use some repeats and so that uh, the whole thing will have some sort of semblance of order. This is the way I've chosen my snippets. I have number six, and then four, and then 42, and then four again, and then 37, and so on. I'm sticking all these things together so that I could just about imagine the text coming into it. Then I transpose into the key of my skeleton, and I get this. Well, now I need a piano accompaniment. So I look again in my little collection of Schubert songs and I see if I can find figuration that will fit these harmonies, that will give more character to the song, to the text I've chosen. So I've taken this very, very slow song of Schubert's. I'll have the character of this rather cheerful, much more cheerful poem of, of Goethe's that we're going to be using for our new song. So here's the complete piano accompaniment. I've taken the harmony of my skeleton and I've played around sometimes with the bass line, but I've kept the figuration of the other song.
Now I transpose the song just to make sure nobody finds where I've so stolen my material from. And I put my last three finishing touches. Now this is a, something that most composers forget because they know how the song is supposed to sound and forget that other people don't know. So you need tempo, articulation, dynamics. Very important, please, not to forget these last, these last three details. Schubert is very, very uh, sparing with this. He doesn't put um, phrase marks right the way through his songs. He tends to just show at the beginning, more or less, what it was it intended, and then trust to our intelligence as performers to do the rest. Anyway, here's the complete song. exercises that goes with this chapter. Choose two of your own songs of Schubert, one for the text, one for the harmonic skeleton. And in your own interest, please don't go for the long songs yet. We'll go for things that are maybe just one page in your, in your copy or at the most two pages. All right? Then um, add snippets from as many songs, as many snippets from Schubert as you care to collect. The more material you take from Schubert, the higher the chances are that we can make this exercise really sound like a Schubert song. And then, of course, the internet is full of very fine recordings and performances of these, all of these songs of Schubert. So the more time you can spend just hunting through these, the better your grounding will be. That's all for now.